One in 10 people will experience a seizure in their lifetime. As one of the most common neurological conditions the world over, more than 28,000 people in Queensland currently live with an active diagnosis of epilepsy. On average, 60 Queenslanders a week receive a diagnosis that changes their life. In 2019, Epilepsy Queensland celebrated 50 years of service by optimising the life of people living with epilepsy and bringing epilepsy out of the shadows. The obvious question was, how do we ensure we are still here for Queenslanders with epilepsy for the next 50 years? We started by asking our community to tell us about their hopes and fears, whether that was for themselves, the epilepsy community or our organisation. This was the basis of building our vision for hope. My personal epilepsy journey started when I was uh, 16 years old and I had my first clonic tonic seizure. Um, a couple of hours after I had my daughter, almost two years ago, uh, I suffered two seizures. I've had epilepsy since um, grade 11. I've had it since about the age of 17. I am a mum with a child with epilepsy and that was the foundations, I guess, of Epilepsy Queensland starting was parents or people with epilepsy who really needed some help and support to understand the condition. Epilepsy Queensland exists in my mind and I think in the mind of the board to be a beacon of hope. I believe Epilepsy Queensland exists because they fight for the rights of us. We're in the business of educating the community, we're in the business of keeping the person safe and supporting them through their epilepsy journey really. We're here to give information and support to people and also to raise awareness in the community which is really important. Because it needs to exist. People like myself have felt very isolated and scared um, at the point that I felt like I was lost and um, I had no one else to turn to. I felt no one else understood. In the absence of a cure, which there's a lot of research going on, uh, but in the absence of that would be uh, social, occupational, educational inclusion, so that um, persons impacted by epilepsy are just able to go about their everyday business, um, respected, embraced, involved, included in whatever they wish to do. My single hope is that they are confident and they feel strong. I hope the people with epilepsy can live a very normal life. Everyone around should be able to just understand that it's just something that people may have, but it doesn't, it doesn't change how they can contribute to society. So when you discuss the fact that you have epilepsy, people understand what that means. You don't have to be afraid, you don't have to worry about you know, um, people's perceptions. One of the things I think brave means for me is being able to uh, speak out about epilepsy, being able to educate other people about epilepsy. Not hide, not hide it. Let people know that you've got it so people understand a bit more. To be confident in themselves and like don't give up. I'll become brave for people living with epilepsy by being a courageous leader. Um, by pushing the boundaries and getting the desired outcomes that people with epilepsy deserve. Being open and listening to explore what the questions are that they may not exactly know or understand themselves. For my son to be brave, um, he has to understand, you know, his condition and how far he can push himself, for example, what he can do, what he can't do, um, what he can do better. For me, being transparent within Epilepsy Queensland means they're honest to the public and to people with epilepsy about what epilepsy is, how it impacts people, how it will impact your daily life and your furthering of self within the community, but also being honest about how they're going to help you along the way. I think as our organisation's going through a major change, it's for our members especially to understand what we're trying to achieve and how we're going to achieve and how they're going to play a part in that. You're happy for people to see who you are and how you operate. Being able to bring all the information that we know around epilepsy and being able to broaden the bandwidth of organisations to ensure that our um, people affected by epilepsy in Queensland have all the information so that they can then make decisions around 
you know, either their personal lives, about decisions about themselves, if it's them that's affected by epilepsy. I uh, saw so that you have to sort of look at other ways of doing things, uh, pivot. I'm a people person and I really feel that people living with epilepsy, I can feel, I can feel their pain in a sense, um, particularly with COVID and isolation. Well, humanity is pretty resilient, um, so that was one thing. That we had to evolve very quickly and we were not prepared, um, but as a community we came together and um, we fought this battle. Uh, so the first one is that it's contagious. Don't understand where in the world that came from. All seizures are grand mal epileptic seizures that you shake. You can catch it. and to swallow their tongue. <laughs> um, or you ought to put a peg on their tongue. I think everybody thinks that epilepsy is a very physical seizure related illness, which of course having epilepsy does mean you have seizures, but seizures look different for everybody. Often first responders, often carers and support workers um, assume that that person has control over that seizure. To assist in research uh, for that assistance and finding a way to decrease seizures and that, because I feel like epilepsy has that label on it. So when somebody's diagnosed with cancer, they're automatically linked in with the Cancer Council and that's brilliant for them. I love that that's a thing, but I wish it was a thing for just about every other diagnosis. My mum and I were left to find Epilepsy Queensland on our own and it took us some years and then it took us a little while longer to reach out because we didn't know if we had anything worth talking to them about in a way. If we were told on day one, here's Epilepsy Queensland, go look them up, give them a call, tell them you've just been diagnosed, we would have had so much more help with my journey. I think more education in schools. People say to me every day that the most important thing is building understanding in the community of epilepsy. If we had an office in all these major cities, I would be in heaven. More education for people, then they can understand epilepsy more. Yeah. So like getting yeah. all the seizure training, that's what mum and dad did and my little sister.